guys, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Work with Jonas. Today, we're going to work on the new top for the double O build that we're doing for our friend Philip Herter. You saw us working on the back the other day, and that's um, it's still in progress. We still need to do the bracing on it, but right now I need to get this top and glue, and so that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. Let's take this over to the sander. Right now it's still rough, you can see. It's just bands on. And so we need to sand it so we can really get a good look at what these faces look like and whether there are defects in there that we need to work around. And so let's head over to the sander and get that done. Okay, now we can see what we got. And I'll get you guys over here a little closer so you can get a really good vision or view of what this top actually looks like before we glue it together. Okay, so this is what we got. There is what I thought was a sap pocket there, but it's not. It is just a little dark spot in the wood right there. But it's not bad, and if I hold it up to the light, I don't see an inclusion in it of any kind. So we have that side and we have this side. This side looks a little better to me. This side or this side? I think this side. And so what we want to do is look at now, do we want it to go this way when we cut it out, like so, or this way. I think this way is probably better, like that. Plenty of room there for us to cut the top out. I'll take a little bit out for the joint, but then Of course, this is the back template, but it's the same as the top. Same size, I should say. Here's the top template. Like that. All these lines indicate bracing. The hole is here, obviously. And we have plenty of room for everything. And I believe that's what we want. So that's what we'll have right there. So I'll just sketch around that just so we can see, you know, which way we oriented it. With that, that's what we want. It's like pencil line around here, just so we know which way we oriented it. Like that. Beautiful, now we need to make this joint and get it in our clamp, get this baby glued together. And then we can take that over to the CNC and cut it out, cut the center out, get the rosette cut out, and then we can put the rosette in and brace the top. We're in the process of bracing the back. We'll start bracing the top and we'll start closing the box. 
then we can start the fun stuff, putting binding on things. We're going very simple with this guitar. Very clean looking bloodwood binding. Very clean rosette. It's going to be a very elegant, very simple as far as uh, decoration goes, but it should sound amazing. All right, and that's really what counts, how it sounds, right? That's what it's all about, the sound. All right, so let's get this joint cut and we'll roll on. Okay, we got almost a good joint here. That joiner still needs some work. I'm a little disappointed in uh, some aspects of it. It does pretty good for small pieces. The outfeed bed needs to be adjusted and it's really a pain in the butt to adjust it, man, but I'll get to it one of these days. So what I'll do in the meantime, is use a nice long straight bar with some sandpaper on it and sand these two edges and see if we can get them a really super nice tight joint there. Now we'll uh, sand those joints. Like that. Right there. What I'm doing is just taking the high spots off. It touches at the top and the bottom, but it's not touching perfectly in the center. And that's what we want it to do. We don't want any daylight shining through that joint. And if I hold it up like this, I can still see a little bit of daylight through there. So I take this nice long super straight bar with the sandpaper on the side of it. It's gonna sand here and here until it's all straight, all the way across. And that'll give us a very tight glue joint. You can do this with a plane too, obviously. I have better luck with this. Unless your plane is perfectly sharp, sometimes it'll tear out your grain, which makes it even worse, because then you gotta fix the edge plus the grain that's tore out. This doesn't tear the grain out. It just knocks everything down perfectly straight and it seems to work great. So this is how I do that. And it doesn't take much. This is very soft wood, you know, and it'll sand right down. A little bit of 120 on there. That is what we want. I can't see any daylight there now. Hold it up to the light. And we have what we call a light tight joint. That's what we want. Now that's right, be glued together. So let's do that. That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Yes. That's going to be a pretty top, isn't it? Yeah. Excuse me. All right, let me get my clamp set up. Be right back. Man, I really need to spend some time putting things away. So 
Sometimes I get into a frenzy and just start working, 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 and things just start piling up. And next thing you know, there's stuff everywhere. So I'm sure you're aware you work in the shop at all. Sometimes you just got to take a day and put everything back where it goes. Sweep, clean, organize. In desperate need of an organization day. But I'm headed to West Virginia to have a little bit of fun. And that'll have to wait till I get back. All right. That's looking good. Move this back out of the way over here. Get over a little closer so you can see what's going on, okay? So there's our joint. Looking good. We'll put a little glue on that and clamp it. Just to be 100% positive in my joint integrity, I'm going to dry clamp it first. Just to make sure that everything looks good before we get glue all over it. Just lightly clamp that down there. And man, that looks really tight. Very nice. I really like the way that looks. That's going to be a beautiful top. Okay, let's get some glue on it, get her glued together. Bit of glue. Here we go. And in place. stuff everywhere. Really need to get cleaned up. Okay. Let's just snug it up a little. Most of that glue off there. I'll make sure this is sitting flat in the middle there. Everybody's sitting flat. That looks good. Throw the safety bar on so it doesn't pop up in the middle. I 
that's good. Make sure that's good and tight. All right, that's glued together. Okay, guys, we got that glued together. Quick video today, getting the top glued up. You see my process of doing that, it's pretty simple. You know, I buy these tops, <clears throat> I buy the tops, excuse me, from LMI and Stumac. I actually bought this one from Stumac. It's a nice one. There's a couple different places you can buy from online. All of them have pretty good wood. I've only had an issue with one top, which I showed you. And I really only have myself to blame for that because I, you know, I should have checked it further. I thought I did. That's the way it goes, right? So anyway, this is glued up. Next up, this goes to the CNC. Stay tuned, we'll be back, okay? You guys be good to each other out there. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you somewhere out there. Peace, work guitars, bye now.